Here are the top five stories you need to know about. The marinas at Lake Orville are boosting boat rates to keep up with inflation after years with no changes. Diego Moctezuma joins us live. So, Diego, how much is that fee going up? New price rates depends on the length of the boat and where the boat is parked at on the dock. Boaters with license slips receive letters that explain why rates are increasing and how the change may affect people. It's not just slip fees. Orville Lake Marinas say the cost of tow maintenance, mechanic and hookup services are also increasing. The company that operates both Lime Saddle and Bidwell Canyon Marina says compared to other similar marinas, the rates are well below average. They cite insurance costs, fuel, and materials as some of the factors behind the need for the slip hike. The docking rates at the two Orville Lake Marinas will be going up next month. Back to you, Chloe. Four people were arrested as part of an undercover attempt by Reading Police to address the retail theft happening in the area. On Wednesday, 24-year-old Harley Schwarzengraber was arrested for petty theft at the Safeway on Cyprus. James Procchioni was also arrested for petty theft at Barnes & Nobles. 49-year-old Michelle Carroll and 50-year-old Marcella Williams were both arrested for grand theft from JCPenney's. New this morning, Caltrans is planning improvements to a 45-mile stretch of Highway 44 east of Shingletown. The project includes guardrail repair and replacements, drainage and culvert improvements, and sections of new pavement. The project should take about a year to complete and is set to start in the fall of 2026. Project manager Kelly Timmons says that the impact on access to homes and businesses in Shingletown and Old Station will be minimal. And if you're willing to be vigilant and vocal, Reading Police are looking to partner with Crime Watch neighborhoods to prevent crime. They're looking for anyone that's interested in becoming a block captain. This person would represent their neighborhood as the Crime Watch head. You can contact Reading Police if interested. New this morning, K-9 officer Rivas sniff test led to a drug arrest along Interstate 5. The suspected drug dealers were pulled over for speeding north of Mountain Gate Thursday around 7.45 a.m. Officer Rivas turned up about 1.5 pounds of methamphetamine and fentanyl. The Shasta Interagency Narcotic Task Force arrived on scene and arrested one of the passengers on charges of narcotic sales.